Hi folks, hope you're okay today, it's good to be with you. Um, my name is Jason and uh, love to everybody out there. I'm just going to do a quick video on the Trinity. And uh, it, this is for Muslims, Mormons, Jehovah's Witnesses, Atheists, anybody who uh, wants uh, to understand the Trinity. This is also helpful for Christians who go to Hyde Park uh, to be a help to them. So, what does the Bible say about Jesus then? Well, let's look at Isaiah 41 verse 4. This is what it says about God. Jehovah said, I am the first and the last, I am he. In Isaiah 44 verse 6 it says, I am the first and I am the last, and beside me there is no God. Isaiah 40 verse 12, Hearken unto me, O Jacob and Israel, uh, my called, I am he, I am the first, I am also the last. These verses talk about God. So in, Roman, uh, in Revelation chapter 1 verse 8, these same kind of words, to what God was saying of himself, are also about what Jesus says. Revelation 1.18, the Lord Jesus says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. In Revelation 1.17.18, the Lord Jesus, the first and the last, I am he that liveth and was dead. I behold, I am all alive forevermore. Revelation 21.16, Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega and the end. In believing in the Holy Trinity, um, we need to remember that just looking at the scripture references that I've written. So in believing it in, in the whole Holy Trinity, some might say, well, what we're teaching is not of God. But let's look at, let's see that. Is what we're teaching of the devil or is it of God? In Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, God said, let us make man in our image. In Genesis chapter 3 verse 22, behold, the man is become as one of us. In Genesis 11 verse 7, it says, let us go down and there confound the language. So here, there's plurality, plurality in, in God. In Matthew 28 verse 19, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. So here there's three in one. In 2 Corinthians 13 14, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you all. So all three of the Trinity mentioned there. In 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 2, the knowledge of God the Father through sanctification of the Spirit unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ. In John 6, 27, God the Father. In Hebrews 1, 8, God the Son. But unto the Son he said, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. In Acts chapter 5, verse 3 and 4, God the Holy Spirit. Why hath Satan filled thy heart to lie to the Holy Ghost? Thou hast not lied unto me, men, but unto God. The next question is, is the Holy Spirit God? Is, or is he just a power? In John chapter 14, verse 26, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. John 16, 13, Howbeit when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, and he shall speak, and he will draw, show you uh, things to come. So here, we're talking about the Holy Spirit is a he, not an it. In Acts chapter 5 verse 3, Peter said, Ananias, why have, hath Satan filled thy heart to lie to the Holy Ghost? You can't lie to a power. Acts chapter 8 verse 29, that the Spirit said unto Philip, go near and join thyself to the chariot. So the Spirit said, the Spirit said unto Philip, go near and join. So that's a person. Acts chapter 10 verse 19, when uh, Peter thought on the vision. The Spirit said unto him, Behold, three men seek thee. Acts chapter 13, verse 2. As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, Separate me, Barnabas and Saul, from the work of whereunto I have called them. So it says, Separate me. The Holy Spirit said, Separate to me. Ephesians 4, 30. Grieve not the Holy Spirit of God. 
So these verses show that, that the Holy Spirit is God. He's a person, not a power. Was uh, the Holy Spirit, uh, was Jesus Christ an angel or was he God? Genesis 1.1, 1, 1. in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. In Psalm 104, Jehovah laid the foundation of the earth. In Psalm 134.3, Jehovah made heaven and earth. In Isaiah 44.24, I am the Lord that maketh all things that stretcheth forth the heavens alone, that spread abroad the earth by myself, Jesus the Creator. Now, those were all attributes of God as a Creator. And this is what it says of Jesus. In John chapter 1 verse 3, all things were made by him. Without him was not anything made that was made. John chapter 1 verse 10, he was in the world and the world was made by him. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 12, 2. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 2, his son whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. Hebrews 1 3, upholding all things by the word of his power. Colossians 1 16, 17, for by him were all things created that are in heaven and that in earth. All things were created by him and for him, uh, and he is before all things, and by him all things consist. So here's a question, did God the Son come from heaven, be born as a baby, live in a human body, prepared for him, die for the sins of the world and rise on the third day? What does the Bible say? Uh, God was manifest in the flesh, 1 Timothy 3.16. Luke chapter 2 verse 11, for unto you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour which is Christ the Lord. John chapter 1 verse 14, the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 20, who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you. 1 John chapter 3 verse 5, and you know that he was manifest to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. God was justified in the spirit, 1 Timothy 3 16. Romans 1 4, and declared to be the son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness, by the resurrection of the dead. 1 Peter 3.18, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the spirit. God was seen of angels, 1 Timothy 3.16. Mark chapter 1 verse 13, and he was there in the wilderness 40 days, tempted of Satan, and was with wild beasts and angels ministered unto him. Luke 24.23, and when they found not his body, they came saying that they had also seen a vision of angels which said that he was alive. God was preached unto the Gentiles, 1 Timothy 3.16. Romans 16.26, but now is made manifest by the scripture of the prophets according to the commandments of the everlasting God made known to all nations. 2 Corinthians 1.19, for the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who was preached among you by us, and God was believed on, the, on in the world, 1 Timothy 3.16. 2 Thessalonians 1.10, when he shall come to be glorified in his saints and be admitted, in all them that believe. God was received up in glory, 1 Timothy 3.16. Luke 24.51, and it came to pass while he blessed them, he parted from them and carried up unto heaven. Acts chapter 1 verse 11, this same Jesus, which is taken up from you unto heaven, shall come in like manner, and you have seen him go into heaven. Who can forgive sins only God? Only God can forgive sins. Numbers chapter 14 verse 18. The Lord is long-suffering and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression. Psalm 86 verse 4 and 5. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul, for thou, Lord, art good and ready to forgive. Psalm 103 verse 2 and 3. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgive all thy iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. Isaiah 43, 25, Jehovah said, I, even I, am he that blotted out thy transgression for my own sake and will not remember thy sins. Daniel 9, 9, to the Lord our God belong mercies and forgiveness. O Lord Jesus Christ, forgive sins. Matthew 9, 2, Jesus said, be of good cheer, thy sins be forgiven thee. Luke 24, 47, that repentance to remission of sins shall be preached in his Jesus' name. John chapter 1, 29, Behold the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. 
Acts chapter 10 verse 43 and through him that is Jesus name whosoever believeth in him shall receive remission of sins is Jesus Christ the Son of God equal with God the Father Matthew 1 23 behold a virgin Matthew 1 23 behold a virgin shall be with child and bring forth a son and they shall call his name Emmanuel which being interpreted is God with us John 5 17 Jesus answered them my father worketh thereafter and I work John 5 18 Jesus claimed that God was the father making himself equal with God John 5 23 all men should honor the son even as they honor the father John 10 30 Jesus said I and my father are one Philippians 2 5 and six, Jesus, who's being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Colossians 2 9, for in him dwelleth all the fullness of Godhead bodily. Titus 2 13, Luke for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and Saviour Jesus Christ. Uh, did our Lord Jesus Christ take up himself the nature of an angel? Isaiah 9, 6, for unto a child is born, unto us a son is given. Uh, the government shall be on his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. So Jesus was no angel. Matthew 1, 8, now the birth of Jesus was in the wise, when his mother Mary espoused to Joseph before they came together, she was found with child. He was God-man. And we could go on and read many verses there. Philippians 2, 6 and 7, Jesus being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon himself the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of man. 1 Timothy 3, 16, God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world and received up into glory. Uh, could Jehovah and Jesus be the same saviour? In Isaiah 43, 3, Jehovah said, I am the Saviour. Isaiah 43, 11, Jehovah said, Beside me there is no Saviour. Isaiah 45, 21, Jehovah said, There is no God else beside me, a just God and a Saviour. There is none beside me. Luke chapter 2, verse 11, A Saviour which is Christ the Lord. Acts chapter 16, 31, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Titus chapter 2, verse 13, The great God and our Saviour Jesus Christ. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 1, God and our Saviour Jesus Christ. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 11, our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Jude chapter 1 verse 25, to the only wise God our Saviour, be glory, majesty, dominion and power, both now and evermore. Amen. So we've looked at the Trinity, we've looked at that God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit, that these three are one. Uh, just to point out that the uh, Muslims will say, well, the Trinity is not uh, logical. They'll say one plus one plus one is, is, th is three. But one times one times one, what's that? One. So people can play the numbers game and you can switch it back at them. All right, they go one plus one plus one is three. Trinity makes no sense. You just go, one times one times one is what? One. Okay? So you can just use that as a, just to put them off on the numbers again when they try to say it's not logical. Alright? Thank you for listening and God bless you.